In addition to being a very scenic area, it's also a perfect location to monitor the health of the St. Lawrence River by being right in the middle of it. So we monitor uh, certain aspects of the health of the St. Lawrence River that are focused on fisheries, fish habitat, and water quality from a nutrient perspective. So we're continuing that work and we're trying to develop, uh, in addition to that, some novel indicators uh, to, to better monitor this system. So we're adding a component where we're looking at lateral gradients uh, from wetlands out to the main channel of the St. Lawrence Seaway and, and looking at things like nutrients. We've been able to document uh, the invasion of round goby um, and now we're actually seeing an invasion of tube nose goby that was detected uh, in our data system. Both invasive species are from the Pontel Caspian Sea region in Eastern Europe and bring mixed news. They feed on zebra mussels, uh, but they also uh, harbor a disease, uh, viral hemorrhagic septicemia, which has uh, devastated the muscalunge population here in the St. Lawrence River, which is a top predator in the system. The goby effects and habitat changes within coastal wetlands have also hurt musky reproduction. Many of the populations in the river have lost their, their former reproductive capacity. So we're trying to uh, learn more about uh, muscalunge life history dynamics in these uh, near shore areas and also trying to see if we can reestablish populations that have been lost. There's a lot of interesting information developed from the long-term monitoring, which helps them understand how this ecosystem works. So we can help inform managers uh, about our results and they can make decisions that may help improve the situation in the future. Good decisions are critical for economic reasons as well as environmental concerns. Charter boat operators like Captain Rich Clark depend on a healthy population of muskies to bring in clients, producing a ripple effect on the shoreline economy.